If you watched my last video, I feel like we solved a lot of existential problems. Socrates doesn't have anything on me. Let's dive a little deeper and ask more important questions like, what are the universal human rights? On an airplane, when sitting in the middle seat, who gets to use the armrest? Are human ethics learned or natural? Are clowns scary or funny? And let's get a little closer to answering the most important question of all. Why is basketball retail so much worse than football? Let's find a few aces along the way. Basketball cancer himself. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Toxbox here. And today we continue the search for why on earth basketball retail is so much worse than football. In our last video, we attempted to begin to answer that question by opening some Walmart and Target megas. And today we're gonna to continue by opening three of the 2022-23 select blaster boxes. Now these are not specific to any retailer. They're just general. So anywhere you buy these, this is what they're gonna cost. I got these off a of Target for $29.99. Um, let's dive into it. Um, first, we'll go over what we can get in this. What's the difference between this and the megas? And these we're gonna get six four card packs we're gonna get six inserts of parallel prisms um, instead of elephant we're gonna get tiger prisms this features the orange flash prisms which i believe we're gonna get about three per box as opposed to the cracked ice prisms in the megas. That's what you can get. Check it out. Um, and joining us on stage today from our last video, go watch it if you haven't, some really good boxes. On the left is a red cracked dice Jaden Ivy concourse. And on the right is a blue cracked dice Keegan Murray concourse. And if you guys wanna help support the channel, wanna help me grow the channel, hit that thumbs up button, like the video, and consider subbing to the channel if you're new or you've been hanging around watching a few, just thinking about it. All right, let's dive into this and let's get rolling. So yeah, I was very pleased with the Megas. Um, very satisfied. It was a good rip. A lot of good cards. We got, you know, I had a hard time picking what three to put up there or what two to put on stage. Um, we got a Shade and Sharp Crack Dice was in there. A lot of good pulls. I won't ruin it. Let's see how the blasters do. Andrew Wiggins, Aravia, Tyrese Maxey, and our first silver is Ja Morant. And as opposed to the like the Prism Megas, rookies were plentiful in the Select Megas. Bochamp, Jamal Murray, Cade, second year, and our blue silver is Trey Young. And I'm sure as you guys know, the retail base is blue as opposed to the hobby silver. And I gotta say, there's another Cade. We got a collation problem, possibly. There's a Chet base rookie and a rookie revolution, Ogabi. Ogubije, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I'm not gonna lie. I cannot lie. Ogbije, Ogbijai. Maybe that's a that's just maybe a question that can never be answered. Branham on the rookie. And I'm hoping some of the Spurs rookies from this year get a little bump. There's a Jabari rookie and Jalen Suggs on the silver. Helping some of the Spurs get a little bump with Wemby this year. And they should, hopefully. Caleb Houston. Here's our first orange. Maybe we're, all, we're not going to get... I guess we're not three. I was wrong because... We got two packs and unless uh, the next one miraculously has, there's a Tatum orange flash. Unless the next one miraculously has two. Now there is the possibility to pull number cards out of here. In the Megas, out of three Megas, we got one numbered card. Clay with the goggles, another Tatum Joker and another Clay. You eat that for the way you talk about my city. I will not eat that. You are going to eat that cat poop. I will not eat cat poop. 
Okay, blaster number two coming up. That was a uh, very uneventful blaster. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make a call, make a prediction and say the Megas are gonna be a better deal than the blasters. And I'll just say that because of what we pulled, I say that what's on the box. I think the amount of cracked ices you get out of those Megas for $20 more versus the six prisms you're gonna get out of here is a better value. Because honestly, the Orange Flash don't really sell that well. Scotty Barnes, our rookie is Diang. The, the blue uh, prisms like this and the silvers and the Orange Flash aren't particularly popular amongst collectors. Devin Booker, Christian Braun on the rookie. Branham, that's a premier. And a Brogdon Silver. I'd love to see a Tiger. KD. Trevor Keels on the rookie. Bradley Beal. And a turbocharged of Steph Curry. And uh, Basketball Select is not going to be unlike Football Select in that the rookies are going to be plentiful. You're going to get a lot of them, which also means they're going to be fairly worthless. Like that's our second LaRavia. Oh, Tyrese Maxi. This is the green, white, purple. Well, Zach Levine, that's not numbered. There is a, is a teal, white, pink. That looks similar. That's numbered to 49. There's our orange flash coming up. Mark Williams, Jimmy Butler, Siakam, and that's going to be a Kawhi. No rookie in that pack. Yeah, so far I got a... Megas are blowing the blasters out of the water. KPJ, Tari Eason, Anthony Davis. We are not hitting on anything as far as rookie color. <laughs> This is really bad. All right, last blaster. This is, uh, this is a rough one. Last blaster, save us. We need a lot of help with this thing. This blaster is going to have to pull a lot of weight. Okay. Let's pull an ace. One ace. One ace. That's all I ask. Another clay, I have, this, we're not off to a good start. Another Tatum, I'm seeing collation problems. There's a Luca blue silver, we'll take that. Literally nothing to throw up on stage. Not a terrible start. DeJounte Murray, Anthony Simons, Devin Vassell. Hey, there we go. Well, this is the all-star. Steph Curry on the blue silver. Okay, I'd say we're two for two on packs. Let's see if we can go three for three. Another Joker, Andrew Wiggins, Chris Paul, and a rookie revolution, Jalen Duran. Three packs left. All it takes is one card though. There we go, there's a Jalen Williams rookie card. Another Bochamp rookie, Jamal Murray, and then Anthony Edwards. All right, two packs. We need a heavy hitter here. Cade, Chet, Caleb, and Keldon. I'll tell you what, I am allergic this year in 2022. And I mentioned in my other video, I am allergic to Paolo. Malachi Branham. Donovan Mitchell. Another Jabari. Mm, this is not going to do it. Basketball cancer himself, Kyrie Irving. So there you go. Everyone can eat shit. 
A big bag of shit. <laughs> so what do I think of select basketball? I think the Megas are a really solid buy. The Blasters, I think I would stay away from altogether. The parallels just aren't impressive. They're not desirable. But the Megas, those cracked dice, people love the cracked dice. Plenty of rookies coming out of there. Just a, a pretty solid buy given the barren landscape that is retail basketball. The ultimate answer to the ultimate question, why does basketball retail stink so much compared to football? No idea whatsoever. You would think it would be the opposite. Because if I was Panini, my reasoning would be, you know football cards are more desirable than anything else. People will run out and buy them left and right. You would think you would beef up basketball to create more demand for basketball products. But they don't do that. They do the exact opposite. It's almost counterintuitive. Who knows what or why Panini does what they do. Hopefully Topps fixes that when they get the licenses. I want to thank you guys for spending even just a minute of your time with me today. If you want to help support the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Consider subbing to the channel. And then until next time, peace out.